What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cheap Tool Reviews, the channel that reviews the cheapest tools from eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, Wish, you name it and we'll review it. And of course, like always, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers that we have and everyone that keeps returning to view our videos. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you see, hit the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Try to upload videos every Wednesday if we can. So as long as we get the, the tools here in time and order them in time, then we'll, we'll make that happen. But so today we're going to get started on the first uh, other cheap tool reviews, of course, and that's the name of this channel. We're doing cheap tool reviews. And this is actually something I've been wanting for a while. I just, I never bought it because, you know, it was cheap. And, and sometimes on the, when I'm, when I have free time and whatnot, I do electrical on cars. So I do radios. Uh, some people's brake lights stop working and I fix it and whatnot. And I've never bought a power probe, which is what this tool is. But this is actually the cheapest power probe on eBay. So this thing costed uh, $20.69. So let me go ahead and open this up real quick. So we got the Allosun. Oh, all sun. I guess the O is silent. All sun. Uh, EM285. Of course, made in China, just like the majority of these tools that review. And this one actually, you know, I know in the last one I said, you know, we haven't had no any, we haven't had any directions or manual on how to use some of these tools. But you can see here we got a, a real uh, manual here. So, you know, let's, let's open this up. It's not sealed tight. So, well, not really sealed at all. So, let's see. So we got the, uh, we got the actual manual this time. It looks like the actual tool. So I know the last tool, what was it? The, um, I forget what the name of that tool is, but the ones we've been using, they've been giving us tool manuals to tools that don't even look like the right, right one. So let's see right here. It says electric circuit tester. Uh, let's see applications, test for continuity, test for polarity of voltage, check amps, check electric motors, power supply functions may be selected, follow and locate short circuits, test for bad ground contact. So, uh, clearly you're going to have this up to your battery. Uh, you're going to need a constant 12 volt and the ground of course. And from what this is saying, this is going to be the auxiliary ground lead. So as long as you put this on another ground, and when you're using it, I guess you'll be able to, you know, turn things on and off with it, whatever you're trying to, trying to test. So let's say you have a, uh, an electric fan and you can't get it to turn on, but you put, you know, you, you hook it up and you put, you know, 12 volts to it, the constant, it doesn't turn on, but let's say you have the 12 volts to it going already. And then you hit it with a, you know, a ground it turns on and that's how you would know you have a bad ground or more than likely a bad ground. If it turns on with, you know, power, then maybe you have a bad fuse. So, I mean, I've really been wanting one of these for the longest and I, I glad I finally got it. Of course, I didn't buy it because it was real cheap. But of course, since we have this YouTube channel, now we're going to be able to do reviews for you guys. So, and, and the wiring, look, it, it gives you a good amount of wire. So I guess if you're working out in the front and of course, you know, some cars that have the batteries in the back or the front. Um, but regardless, if even if the battery's in the trunk, there's still a... Uh, a 12 volt, you know, if you're going to jump a car and whatnot, it, it has the, the connections up in the front. Yeah. The, the, the actual wire going to it's kind of thin, but this part itself, I guess, you know, it has a lot of insulation, the ground or the auxiliary ground is real. I don't know. we got to, let's open it up guys. Make a mess of wire right now. Oh yeah. So let's see, it's not too long. And of course, if you're going to be using the, the power probe, it's going to be somewhere close to, you know, what you're, what you're trying to figure out. So, I mean, that's cool that they gave you an actual, um, you know, diagram here, easy to use, telling you how to use it. And of course here we got the power probe, the manual, how to test for continuity features. Uh, this works from six to 24 volts. So that's not bad. Uh, overload protection. So I guess when the current exceeds eight amps, this will automatically disconnect. So I guess to protect the actual circuit of the vehicle and, you know, any fuses, you know, I guess this would trip first and reset itself after a few. I'll read this on my own time, guys. I don't want to bore you guys with 
manuals, you know, nobody likes manuals. So we're gonna go outside, guys. We're gonna get this tested on my BMW E30, of course, because I'm willing to risk it on my E30. I'm not willing to risk it on my charger because if I mess something up on that, who knows how much that's gonna cost me to fix. So um, we'll go ahead and get started outside, guys. So we're gonna go outside and see what we can, you know, turn on and off with this thing and see if it's really useful. So let's go outside. All right, guys, so we're out here. We got the power probe. We're gonna go ahead and uh, connect this and you know, see what this is, and I'll let you guys know. I did re read the uh, manual, so let's go ahead and connect this real quick. Let me tell you guys how this goes. So, of course, we got the uh, 12 volts to the power supply, and we've got the ground Just going straight to the ground. All right, so we're up here. So, from when I read the directions, guys, I apologize from inside when I said that this was to uh, just an auxiliary ground. It's actually to test uh, continuity and whatnot, so I've never used a power probe as you can see, so I apologize for, for stating that. Uh, so this is basically, let's just say you have a wire here and, and on the other end of the plug you're trying to see if you have you know, full continuity. Then this, if you connect both of them and you get a, a light here, that means the, the, the continuity is you know, solid. And if you don't get anything then it's either you have a bad ground or it's ripped somewhere along there or something like that. So. Uh, let's get started on this. So, I just want to point out here: uh, you can hit the th that there is giving uh, 12 volt current to the end of the probe, and this one here should be green, and that is giving ground to the end of the probe. So you're able to do both testing, uh, whatever you'd like. So let's get started. Uh, we're gonna actually turn on the electric fan of my car, and the, the key is out of the ignition. As you can see, the the fan's not on. So we're gonna see if we can hit this with the. Uh... There we go. It's on right there. Uh, that's not too bad. You can turn on and off. Um, I actually want to hit the. Uh... I want to turn on the fuel pump. See if we can turn on the fuel pump with this as well. Oh, here we go, here we go. I don't know if you guys can hear it. The fuel pump. That little humming is a fuel pump. So, I mean, that's, you know, it's working, guys. So, this might be a winner. I know we've had some bad, uh, some bad things happen in the past, but this might be working pretty good. So, we can also test for, I'm actually, give me one second, guys. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to turn the ignition. So, we're going to use this as a regular test light. So, all right, guys, so we have the keys in the ignition and it's on on, so everything has power right now. So we're going to use this as a power probe and see how, let's see. So you can see here, it is red, telling me that there is current going through there. Oh, you can also test for ground, which I haven't figured out how to do that. Oh, yeah, ground. There's green light. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me, let me get closer on to you guys. If you see that green light, that means there's, you know, we have good ground, so... You know, we can definitely hook up a ground here and we'd be pretty solid on on a ground. So that's not bad. And of course you can hit it with the ground and a, and a positive. So of course if you're, let's just say you you have a bad starter, you can, you know, if you're under there, you can hit the the solenoid uh, to, to get it to turn on. So you can also use that, I'm sure, to hit the solenoid and make it turn on in that aspect. So it's not a bad idea. If you want to use the use this like that but also if you're doing like your radio and let's say your radio is not working but you've checked the fuse you can go back there and hit it with the ground if it if all of a sudden the radio works that means you have a bad ground if you hit it with the 12 then that means you have a bad uh wire somewhere so if you know what you're doing you can always you know rewire that aspect but um you can also turn on your lights with this but let's just say that you have a your headlight is not turning on if you hit it with the, uh, so let's say you have the headlights on, and you know the bulb is good. You can hit this with the ground, if it kicks on, and you know you have a bad ground. If you have a good ground, and you hit this with the positive 12 volts, and it kicks on, then that means either your uh, switch is bad, or you have a bad wiring going to the headlight. So, you know, this will really help you figure out what exactly is wrong with some of the tools, or, or not some of the tools, but some of the components in your car. Same for your tail lights. Same for a sensor up here. If you're trying to test continuity between a, two wires, 
and you're trying to figure out to make sure that you have continuity going through the wire so this is actually going to help out big time and i know i apologize i'm not doing a super big um review but you can clearly see it works because i can kick my fan on with it I apologize, it's still loud the mic right there, but um, it, it does work. So for 20 bucks, I, I, I've seen some Power Probe, which is the actual brand Power Probe. Those are easily 100, and you know, depending on the accessories you get, those can be well over 100 dollars. And for this, for 20 dollars, and someone like me that doesn't do it at full time, that truck was loud. That was a diesel. Um, for someone that doesn't do it full time, it's not bad, you know just to get little wiring here and there done you can test let's say your trailer lights you know the plug in the back isn't working correctly you can check it to see what's going on maybe you have a bad ground somewhere you want to check you know have someone hit the brakes you connect this there and you'll be able to see what exactly is not having power your turn signals same for that you can hit it with the you know a constant or the or ground so it's not a bad investment if you think about it it's it's a really good investment for twenty dollars for someone like myself that actually does some car wiring and whatnot so and of course this does up to 24 volts um, like I said I'm not a mechanic if you've seen any of my other videos I always say I'm not a mechanic so I'm not sure what vehicles or anything uses 24 volts you know unless you have I don't know if you have double batteries if no idea supposedly handle 24 volts. yeah if it can even handle 24 volts you know I don't I would test it but I don't have anywhere to test 24 volts so um, it's not bad guys I, I, I really want to say it's not bad just from this little test i've done i know that this for myself is going to be a really big help when i'm trying to figure out electrical issues or one of my friends actually if you guys don't know him actually he's always on the end of my videos his channel is udi udi o and i've done some electrical wiring for him got his whole system his whole stereo system in his car i've done that his brake lights one time stopped working and i you know i got that all situated for him so if you really know what you're doing this tool will really help you i used to do it with just a test light that was it. I have had a test light, and I used to get a strip of wire, and I used to, you know, hit it with stuff and see what was going on. So this is going to be a really big help when it comes to to doing some tools. So uh, let's go back inside, guys. Let's do the final tool review of this, and you know, see if you, this is the right tool for you guys. All right, guys. So we're back inside for the final uh, review on this tool. I'm going to have to give this an A plus, guys. If you're at home and you don't you don't do this for a living electrical and you do it on every now and then for twenty dollars guys i'm gonna have to say go out and get yourself the alson em 285 circuit tester guys the the ergonomics of this tool is not bad it's real rubbery unlike the last tool we reviewed i mean yeah it's plastic of course but for what it is it's not bad the the wiring is real thick and like i said it could be the insulation that's real thick because the end of the wire is not you know crazy uh you get i want to say maybe this is a good maybe 12 feet of wire so it's not bad guys for what i said tw like 20 bucks uh, give or take free shipping shipped to your door it is not bad at all guys i'm gonna have to say this is an actual winner i know we haven't had any good reviews the past couple days i mean yeah they've been good you know to let you guys know that you know it's not worth buying but this one i'm gonna have to say definitely good guys i'm gonna have to say go buy this tool and i'm not saying that because they paid me because they didn't i bought this tool with my own money but for those of you that are here and actually want to know if these tools are any good i'm gonna have to say get this tool guys so we're gonna end it right there like i said guys please don't forget like comment share and subscribe let your friends know that this tool is a tool that they should get if you see them always struggling with wiring and whatnot tell them to get this tool uh, same for yourself so like I said, guys, take care of yourselves. I know that all this stuff is going on. Hopefully we can go back to our norm. Um, but just stay safe, guys. Stay six feet apart. And uh, hit the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos, guys. Thank you so much.